finally getting around to trying out this uh, Triton spindle sander. I was lucky enough to have this gifted to me by uh, my beneficiary, Todd, at uh, Sweet Tea Guitars. He had uh, won this at uh, one of the GB GGBOs on the random prize draws. And he already has a full-size one. So he was kind enough to pass this one on to me. So this is going to be the first time I tried it out, tried to use it, and we're going to see what happens. Maybe good, maybe a disaster. Who knows? We'll get ready for some noise. Okay, two things. Yes, this thing is noisy as hell. Number two, this thing eats up some serious wood. I do notice that you got to pay attention to once you get onto the the uh, full side as it turns in because it grips in here and it wants to shoot it just like a saw or anything else. It wants to shoot it this direction. So, all right. So I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna grind this down some more, and uh, I'll be back to show you the finished results. All right, so here we are. We got done with the uh, spindle sander and uh, took a file to the edge, rounded those off, got it all matching up, got that all nice and smoothed off. So I think we're about ready to start uh, working on the neck to get get that put in. So that's next on the agenda. Look forward to that. Okay, I got to give a big hell yeah to this thing. First time I use it today, man. How does somebody make a shop without one of those? Thing is just amazing. Simple to use, noisy as hell, but. Yeah, it's a must-have for any shop. So thank you again, Todd. That is another awesome piece of uh, toolage you have sent me, and I will put it to good, good use. And for here, we'll give you a quick update of where we're at. We've got the uh, got the back all carved in nicely as we saw previously. Starting to dig down. To get the center hollowed out and get the, the neck actually fitted in there. I'm going to start and get the bulk of it out of the center here and then start uh, working on my shape. Got the, the neck joint or the old, the old neck cleaned up. Got all the nastiness off the sides. Got the epoxy or whatever that was scraped away. So I'm going to fill in the block in here square that off like a normal neck and then do the mounting in here properly so we got that going on right now so I'm just going to keep going away with the chisel and, and see where we get today 
Alright, we are starting to get somewhere. But, if you look... Much better than than it was before. Definitely straighter. What they did, I found out, was they squared that off with the center line, but they didn't account for the neck being wider at the heel than at the uh, top of the of the headstock there. But uh, that's where they went wrong. So. This is where we're at now. Now the question is, is do I fill the neck in with this piece here straight across and then cut this to match that and make that or does that make it even weaker with probably only that much to bite. So <laughs> Questions, questions, questions. I think I'm going to go with filling in the side piece once I get this down to depth. And, uh, yeah. So we are making progress. At least, at least the, uh, um, neck pocket is straight and tight. So, that said, back to, back to chiseling and, and working my way through and, uh, that's a whole big pile of <laughs> chips and dust. And you name it. <laughs>